If you've not been down to the waterfront lately, it's worth coming down to take a look because there's a lot of new things happening down here. I'm here with the waterfront project manager, Catherine Dugmore, as well as Angie Jensen and Lorraine Cull, they are part of the Baggage Building Arts Centre. Now, first of all, we are in the Baggage Building Arts Centre, and I want to talk about that first, because it's kind of a nasty day outside, and people need to know this is a great place that you can come when it's bad weather out as well. So what can people expect when they come in the Baggage Building Arts Centre? They can expect to see some wonderful uh, locally created artwork and craft in the Baggage ba Building Gifts gallery and um, there will be a variety of different programming in the studio areas where there's uh, workshops, classes in all sorts of creative media from music, dance to visual arts and many kinds of performance. Now it's, it's empty right now but throughout the summer and throughout I guess all year there will be different things that are happening in this building. Angie, do you want to explain that? Yeah, we're hoping to work with a lot of different community groups. So we'll be working with uh, KHIP, the Arts and Education Program, with Willow Springs Creative Centre, who works with a lot of um, different groups of people. Um, in Community Living, March of Dimes. Um, I've also been talking to the people at the Multicultural Society who want to do some of their workshops here. Uh, there'll be everything from digital camera workshops, uh, printmaking, painting, um, hopefully dance and, and music, a, a, wide, a wide variety of all different arts programming, even maybe some writing workshops and different things going on. Now, if someone in the community, an artist in the community, wanted to get involved and be part of the Baggage Building Arts Centre, what, what do they have to do? They could, uh, um, depends on which area they want to be. If it's a part of the gift gallery, then they have to be um, a member of an existing studio gallery or market within the city. Um, those are available in the handmade map, uh, the, all mm -hmm. the places that are in that um, existing. Um, and otherwise, they can contact us at, um, at the Baggage Building Arts Centre here and uh, we can book them for workshops, classes, or if they want to rent the space. And it's for all ages. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. children, youth. Great. Right to seniors. Okay, yes. great. Thank you so much. Now, the Baggage Building Arts Centre is only part of what's happening at the waterfront. Catherine, can you, I know the splash pad opened about a week ago. Can you explain to me about, first, the splash pad. What, what's going on with the splash pad? Well, uh, basically a lot of water um, <laughs> and, and, and more now that it's been raining so much. Uh, this, the splash pad actually is a, just a very flexible feature. It's got water in it. Kids love it. And it's open uh, from about 11 o'clock on in the, after, in the morning until 9 o'clock at night. Uh, adjacent to the splash pad, there's washrooms, change rooms, lockers, and the sorts of things that you would expect to support a facility like that. And uh, the best thing about it, from my perspective, is that in the wintertime, it's an ice rink. So what we've done is we've created a, a multi-use space so that there's really not a fallow time for it. Now I know what surprised me when I saw pictures of it, there's, a, there's quite a bit of water on the bottom and then there's water splashing out. So you don't just, it's not just like a big sprinkler. You can run around and do whatever you want in there. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, I would encourage uh, everybody to come down and try it out. Certainly the, the children that we've seen playing it are just having a blast and it's really a, a wonderful kind of facility for the community. Now, that's true, what kids don't like water. Now, as well as adjacent to it, we have the water garden building. There will be some things happening in that building as well? Well, right now in the Mariner's Hall, we have the uh, grain elevator exhibition as well as the naval um, display that's in there. And that's a programmable space that can have different kinds of exhibitions. And part of the building will actually be a restaurant. Mm -hmm. Okay, is there any idea when that will be open or when you'll be able to let people know what will be in there because I know everyone's excited about it. Well, we're just in the process of, of closing deals now mm -hmm. and if everything goes according to Hoyle, the restaurant should open later in the summer. Okay, now this is just one part of the waterfront. There are so many different areas that people can now access where they couldn't in, pre in summers before when everything was under construction. Um, certainly there's, there's areas also that are just simply much more open and welcoming mm -hmm. to the public, including what we've done to Pier 2, which has created a public promenade and a viewing circle at the end. Fabulous place to go and take pictures of the skyline of the city. And I'd also recommend that they travel out onto the Wilson Street headland, where the Spirit Garden is. Beautiful bent wood structure using traditional Aboriginal forms of architecture and the uh, fire pit at the end of, of the pier, or at the end of the uh, Spirit Garden. So very nice place. And also spend some time to look at the uh, interpretive signage um, and the art throughout the entire 
project. No, I know. I would, we came down here uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I, we bought an ice cream, and we just kind of walked around. I brought my kids down, and it was great. I, it, and I love the fact you can get into any entrance now. The it's beautiful down here. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, it's it's more beautiful than I thought it would be. Strangely enough, when you work in this kind of field, you're often sort of left thinking, "What could we have done more?" And in this case, um, well, there may be you know little glitches and foibles. Basically, I think the design has delivered more than I expected that it would. And in fact, it's better than waterfronts that I've seen in, you know, Lisbon, Chicago, New York. There's just, uh, this is a fabulous space and it's really something we should all be very proud of. Okay, well, thank you so much, and thank you, ladies. And if you've not been down to the waterfront, come down and check it out. It's beautiful down here. If you have been down to see it, then you know what's down here. So come down, take a walk around, and see what's here. Stay tuned. There's lots more coming up on Shaw TV.